Okay, we are coming in on the end of the setup process. This thing is just about ready to play. Now, the last thing we need to deal with is intonation. And we've talked a lot about intonation kind of in vague terms. And now is really where the rubber meets the road on intonation. With this saddle slant, typically my final break point on the strings is really right off of the front. So I'm going to see. Oh, and this tool, before I get any further, is just the end of, oh, let's see, uh, maybe the uh, D string. So I just clip this off the end of the D, folded it over, and I'm going to use that under the strings on the saddle to determine where my string break point needs to be to get my intonation correct. So I'm going to lift this up, pull that back. Now I have a very precise break point. Okay, now I have my wire inserted here for a very clean break point, and it is really right off the front of the saddle. It is not very far in there at all. Now what I'm going to do is play the harmonic. And I want to see that harmonic perfectly in tune. And then I am going to play the fretted note. And if that fretted note is sharp or flat, we'll determine what happens here. If that fretted note, and remember, once we fret it, we actually make that string longer because we change the angle from here to our fret. And that's what the intonation is about, is compensating for that longer string with a, a fretted note. If that fretted note is sharp, what we want to do is make this longer and move this towards the front of the bridge to make it longer and flatten out that note. If this is flat, we actually want to make it shorter going this way to uh, sharpen that note just a little bit. Now I'll play the harmonic and the fretted and that is right there. Okay, now that was really right at the front of the saddle. So I am not going to change anything at all there. I am just going to set that break point right there at the front. Now I'll get this right under towards the front of the bridge. Now that's the B string playing the harmonic. and fretted. So that is close enough that I am not going to change that. That is just, man, that is a tiny, tiny bit flat when it's fretted, but it's really not worth changing that right now. If it gets more dramatic um, in the uh, next week or so, then I'll change it. But let me just do that one more time. And that's exactly the same. <laughs> Leave that exactly where it is. I'm not changing that. Make a note of where that is. Right there. Okay, moving on to the G. Now you might hear a little buzz on the string that I'm working on, but it's because there's a couple of different surfaces here that it's trying to vibrate on. It's only gonna catch the uh, tuning off of this front break point, but there'll be a little buzz back here because there's a couple of fuzzy areas here where it's um, still trying to figure out where it wants to vibrate on. That sounds pretty good though. 
Perfect. Now, harmonic. Fretted. So I've got to move that G right back. Right to the very front of the saddle. All right, so the G is going to go right on the front, very, very, very front of the saddle. That's okay. D, harmonic. And fretted. Perfect. Not going to touch that. Yikes. I hope you're noticing a little bit of a theme here in that most of these notes are breaking really right at the front of this saddle. And some of the ones you'll see in the stores, the kind of the pre-made ones, are zigzagging all over the place. And that's usually just kind of a preset offset of what they think will happen. Um, really setting these up um, exactly like they're supposed to is going to get us much closer to playing in tune. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Low E, harmonic. Fretted. Yep, okay. That one is just a little bit further forward, maybe almost the middle of the saddle. So now I have my lines that I need to carve my break points into. So as you can see, they move around just a little bit, but nothing like you'd see in a pre-made saddle um, from an inexpensive guitar at the, the, uh, the store that sells many inexpensive guitars who shall not be named. So I'm going to shape this and then we will be done and ready to make some music. So now I need to loosen my strings up again, pull this out and shape it. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I am going to file right up to those lines and try and round off the back a little bit so I can still make some string contact as it rolls over. But I want that break point on the front of this to be pretty sharp. Really want to have that front part as accurate as possible and the back roll off so there's a little less string tension um, on a particular point. Now this, this break angle doesn't need to be sharp, but it does need to be pretty accurate. Okay. This one's going right to the front. gotten the back and forth, gotten those dialed in. Now I'm just going to take some sandpaper to this, polish it up a little bit. Just going to take 320. That 320 isn't going to do much to change the profile of it. It's just going to take out the rough file marks.
That's nice and smooth. This is going to go back in. All right, I double checked the intonation across the strings. We are all good. I'm happy with the way things are at. Um, I'll let this sit for another week, uh, maybe two weeks, kind of settle in to uh, let it know that it is going to be a guitar. And then I'll take another look at the setup and then probably ship it out. So um, lots of final thoughts here, but as far as intonation and setup goes, uh, hopefully you guys have followed along and gotten exactly what you needed out of it. Um, so I'll close up on setup on that note, and I will catch you in the next and final video.